Critical race theory. What is it and why is it wrong? CRT tells us that when we have differences in outcome between races, in earnings for example, this is a result of racist institutions and racist laws. Well like we saw in the last video, when they actually try to tell us these racist laws, they don't turn out to be. Well let's start with this chart. There is a more detailed way to look at this. See that even within races, there is massive variance. Matter of fact, there is more variance within races than there is between them. Let's forget races. Let's take people who are exactly the same identical twins. This study from Finland found that only about half their earnings are explained by the genetics. So not just the same race, exact same DNA and abilities, yet different outcome. Variance is the norm. I know we haven't talked about critical race theory for a while, and maybe that's because we're in the midst of a summer break from school. Although, I'm guessing it's more likely because the same people who claim kids were being taught that they were oppressed or oppressors are busy taking bodily autonomy away from people. Well, we're about three weeks away from the next school year starting, which means I am now the parent of a middle schooler. I know, so young, so young. And the older my kids get, the more I want critical race theory curriculum to be introduced into their classrooms. I know it's not gonna happen. What you saw at the beginning of this video from this TikToker who's bio says Milton Friedman reincarnated, pointed out that variance is the norm when attempting to debunk CRT. The point was, when even in a homogenous country like Finland, when even twins with the same physical traits have different outcomes, why the hell would we expect a multiracial, multi-ethnic country like the United States to have the same outcome between different races? While displaying the source he used from Britannica to define CRT, along with average income slash salary by race stats at the end of his video. However, look, the following is an excerpt provided by Mark Liddell from his TED-Ed that focuses not on systemic racism, but how stats can be misleading. He said, an analysis of Florida's death penalty cases seemed to reveal no racial disparity in sentencing between black and white defendants convicted of murder. But dividing the cases by the race of the victim told a different story. In either situation, black defendants are more likely to be sentenced to death. The slightly higher overall sentencing rate for white defendants was due to the fact that, well, take it away, Mike. Cases with white victims were more likely to elicit a death sentence than cases where the victim was black. And as I've explained before, most murders occurred between people of the same race. So could this variance in sentencing have occurred naturally? Sure, but it's clear that the variables were skin color. I mean, it's law. Precedent is built in. Plus, I could see if that was a once-off, but based on policies past and present, it would appear that this country of ours really wanted to create different outcomes between races and between classes. And that's evident in the resource this TikToker presented from Britannica. Further down, it says that black, brown, and native people in this country are on average more likely than similarly qualified white persons to be denied loans or jobs. Quote, they tend to pay more than white persons for a broad range of products and services, e.g. automobiles. They are more likely than white persons to be unjustly suspected of criminal behavior by police or private white citizens. And they are more likely than white persons to be victims of police brutality, including the unjustified use of lethal force. I'm not going to get into the complexity of Simpson's paradox or what CRT is intended for, but as a framework, critical race theory may be best described as a lens. How are people debunking a tool to view things? It's like glasses, contacts, and binoculars. Using a telescope to look at outer space? Nah, that's a myth. What, the telescope? So, if those Finnish twins were fraternal and one of them had darker skin and 4 hair, for example, in a country like ours, we may want to look into if their inequality and discrimination is the norm. For Rebel HQ, I'm Jeff Wiggins. My architect knows Japanese. For more from the Young Turks, stay right here. To see additional content from yours truly, click on the Jeff Wiggins hashtag. You can also find me on my YouTube channel, We Gonna Be Alright. Thanks for watching.